Okay, so today um, I've just come down here really because I wanted to do a little review on a tripod that I've been using for, for the last six months really and it's a uh, T3 240cm carbon fibre tripod by uh, Sun Photo. So I've had this now for um, at least six months and uh, it comes everywhere with me. I think it's a brilliant tripod. So I'm going to do a little review on the tripod itself. They also sent me a uh, GH Pro 2 Plus with this, which I've also had for six months. Uh, brilliant little uh, gearhead. And also I've got one of these levels, levelers here on the tripod also by Sun Photo. So this is just a brilliant tripod. So I'm going to put up some specs now on the uh, tripod itself. Okay, so it's a four section tripod. You can hear sort of like a pump action with the air there. Um, so at the top of the tripod over here, you've got like a ventil ventilation there. So uh, it lets any, uh, any of the uh, shit out. Also the, uh, the seals on the grips themselves. So. Uh, if you're on the beach or anything you can't get any sand or dust in there so we're uh, really good and uh, nice and solid so the it looks pretty heavy when you look at it but um, it's not at all it's very light very light um, I was surprised actually how light it was really I've also got a bigger one than this I think it was the the 560, I'm, I'm not sure. The legs are just a bit spider webs. The legs are a bit fatter on that one, and I've got the GH Pro, the original gearhead on that one. That's um that's a little more heavier than this. Um, but it's still light. But I use that mainly if I'm not going too far from the car, I'll use that tripod, or if I need a sturdy, heavy tripod. But this for me um comes everywhere. Uh, when I do my walks and everything like that this is my go-to tripod and it'll probably do for all year round really um, I think it's excellent as for going up mountains I'd probably need a lighter tripod I don't think I'd want to carry this up a, tri uh, up a tripod up a mountain with me as for the uh, GH Pro 2 um, yeah I really like this one um, so I'll leave a bit of a specs on the actual gearhead itself.
So coming here today, I'd walked further on. I completely missed the way in here, uh, which is weird. Uh, but I did notice that they've cut all the trees down. So where I've come in was a woodland that no longer exists. It ain't there. So that's why I missed the turning. It's a shame they just cut these woodlands down. Uh, it's a real shame. But anyway, I've come here really to talk about the tripod um, and take an image. Now I've got a tree in front of me uh, that's got these little red berries on there. Um, so I've come here really to uh, take an image of this tree along with this nice little review. So as you can see here, I'm set up here with a tripod. Um, I'm just going to adjust it with my levelling base here. These things are brilliant. I mean, especially if you're doing panels, um, I just love them. Now, with the um, GH Pro 2, unfortunately, you only get one bubble head on the actual head itself, which is, I prefer a bit more, I think, um, bubble heads on it, especially down here. I mean, when you're putting your camera on, you're not going to see it, but the tripod has one here, which is useful. But um, yeah, only one bubble head, unfortunately, on the G, which is uh, not too much of a problem. But uh, if they had another one somewhere, that would be useful. So yeah, um, just adjusting it here with a level on this bubble here on the tripod. And then um, here, you can see the levers here that I adjust as I want. Um, that's the thing with these sort of uh, gear heads, uh, they do tend to slow you down, not like the old ball heads you can get in there and move it all, you know, fast like that. But it allows you to be more precise with your shots, like now, um, by looking at the level thing on the camera here, I can just level it up nicely, up and down. But if you do want, if you did want to go faster, you've got these little latches here that allow you to go a lot more faster. Now you don't have these latches on the uh, original um, bo ball head, on the original gear head. And also there's a latch here also for going down. But it is good. Um, it kind of makes you slow down and uh, takes things in. A lot better so on the bottom here you got a nice with the bottom here uh, you can also pan it 360 degrees here and uh, lock it up so okay so I'm gonna set this up now nicely and uh, get a nice image of this tree now, what I like about the tree, really, is that I've just got sky behind it. So, uh, what I'll probably do, I think, is go a bit lower to the ground and get the tree branches more in the sky there. And hopefully, um, that'll look nicer. And I've got the sunlight hitting it on the side there, bringing the uh, red berries out. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm going to go to colour or black and white. We'll see which one works the best. Uh, so I might use the two of them, colour and black and white. So there you go, I uh, just wanted to say also that the uh, gear head is really solid 
built very solid. Uh, it's all metal. And uh, what's different about this one with the original one, it's got a top uh, clamp at the top. So yeah, uh, very impressive tripod. Love it a lot, solid. Uh, you can tell it's not cheap, it's quality, quality made. So very happy with the uh, tripod. I hope you like the images. Uh, just a quick little vlog here coming out and uh, doing a quick review on what I consider is my uh, best all round tripod for the all year round, really, which is this tripod, uh, which is the T3240CM, the GH Pro 2 Plus, and the uh, leveler over here. I'll leave the links below if you're interested in having a look and uh, getting uh, this gear. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, until next time, bye.